This is Audio Ahoy. I'm Joe Henry Penrose. America's National Public Radio, or NPR, is known for honest journalism, quality content, and flawless radio. Through a network of over 1,000 member stations, NPR's programming reaches most of the US population. In fact, NPR reported that as of March 2018, NPR has maintained their highest audience since spring of 2017. According to Nielsen's four 2017 ratings, the total weekly listeners for all programming on NPR stations is over 37 million people. However, while listenership of NPR's newscasts is high, many listeners don't realize that NPR has a music division with award-winning music journalism, early releases of albums, and even intimate concerts. Launched in November 2017, NPR Music has morphed into a multimedia powerhouse for music discovery, headed by the host of All Songs Considered, Bob Boylan. The cultural power of NPR Music is evident from their YouTube channel alone. With 1.4 million subscribers and over 378 million total views as of April 2018, the channel is huge and consistently growing. They are well known for their tiny desk series where musicians play intimate shows at Bob Boylan's desk throughout the workday. Everyone has been on this series, from T-Pain to Adele, Tyler the Creator to Sylvanesso. Don't forget Moon Hooch Anderson Pack and the internet. That's the voice of Myra Johnson, music director of college radio station WSOE and professional Bob Boylan fan girl. Tiny Desk is really cool. Um, basically, it's an extension of NPR, and it's the music branch. Um, it was started by Bob Boylan, who got started with things like All Songs Considered, um, which if you're familiar with NPR, they also have a segment called All Things Considered. Um, so this one's just a little more music-oriented. I think Bob Boylan is super cool. Again, he's the one that kind of started a lot of this stuff, um, wanted to branch off on the music side of radio. I and mean, obviously, NPR is one of the biggest, if not the biggest broadcast organization in the U.S. So that's been really cool to see how that's grown. So how did Bob Boylan start working for NPR? Bob Boylan actually, when he got started, just started showing up at NPR in D.C. and saying like, give me work, let me do this. Uh, I have these ideas and I feel like that's just perfect and that's how I try to get my job. So hopefully I can just start showing up there and get a job from Bob. Yeah, so I heard in a podcast that it was Bob Boylan and Stephen, who uh, is one of the other writers for NPR Music, that they came up with the idea after a show in DC where it was a folk singer and they couldn't hear her, so they just joked, next time you come through, you should play Bob Boylan's desk. And it was kind of born from there. And I feel like that shows just the wonderful nature of NPR Music and NPR, that it doesn't need to be this curated idea that's based on audiences. It's just done because it's cool and it grows organically from there. I love seeing it grow. I love seeing these artists that sometimes they're huge names and, you know, Chance the Rapper did his without telling anyone, like the interns didn't know and they just said, you know, Chance is here, go to Tiny Desk and everyone, you know, ran for, for Chance, which was so cool. But then they also have like, I'm with her out this week, which I know because of getting sent music and having to listen to it for work, but maybe a name that I wouldn't have known before. So definitely really cool to see the range of artists they bring and just I'm excited to see what they have in store for the future. The Tiny Desk series helps viewers to find new musicians, but it also helps to unearth new talent. Now in its fourth year, the NPR Tiny Desk contest has grown into a make or break event in the industry. The contest allows any band or solo musician to submit a live performance involving a desk for the chance to perform their own Tiny Desk concert and to tour the US. Last year's winners, New Orleans band Tank of the Bangers, are now the talk of the music industry and starting their second nationwide tour this month. This alone shows the cultural power of NPR music and how far its reach is. NPR Music produces more than videos. They create over 10 podcasts, including All Songs Considered, Alt Latino, Mountain Stage, and more. These podcasts cover the latest in music, help listeners to discover bands they've never even dreamed of, 
and some even bring on great musicians to give their take on the latest music. NPR's podcasts cover pretty much every major genre. I've even heard some Polish rock on some shows. But if you're into more of a niche musical market, the NPR Music Blog has got articles for you. As a big fan of music and journalism, I really appreciate the work that NPR Music does. That's Patrick Larson, head of podcasts and productions for WSOE. Um, I, they sort of turned their whole program into a multifaceted source of like news and entertainment in a way that has a lot of value for the listener or the viewer, really, because, I mean, they've expanded into such like incredible web content with tiny desk show concerts, excuse me. And um, they're like playlists on that. They, I think they put out on Spotify with like new artists and new music every week. Um, and then some of the profile they work, the work that they do on those artists, it really, it, I think it, it meets a lot of different like desires within consumers of music and news. And I think that's like really awesome. Bob Boylan is doing great work over there. So from tiny desk concerts to online articles and amazing podcasts, NPR is a top source for new music and insights into the world of music. By listening to NPR music, you support high quality journalism, discover and launch the careers of new artists, and even rediscover old ones. Sometimes you'll even find new sides of artists, like when T-Pain performed without his signature auto-tune at one of the Tiny Desk concerts. He revealed a matured R&B artist rather than somebody giving out club tunes. So next time you have a long drive or you want to catch up on the latest in music, check out a podcast or an article from NPR Music. You won't be disappointed. A special thanks for this episode goes to Myra Johnson and Patrick Larson for being interviewed and sharing their thoughts on NPR music. Music used in this episode includes Rival Consoles, Nils Fram, Sigler Club, and Washed Out. To find out more about NPR music, simply Google NPR music or check npr.org slash music. You can find most of their podcasts on Apple Podcasts or any other podcasting source. For information on your local NPR station and how to listen to it, please check npr.org. My name is Joe Henry Penrose. Thanks for listening.